Well, welcome to another Life on Cars video. It's our Sunday, the 7th of May today, and uh, I'm heading to a motor show at Newby Hall, a classic uh, motor show. And as per usual, oh, we're in the Jag, of course, and uh, typical motor show. Um, I'm an hour before the uh, the show should start because I am showing the the, uh, the car and it looks like there's a two mile queue to get into the uh, to the venue let's have a look basically in a queue of uh, type R's at the moment so uh, hopefully it won't be too long before we get into the show all right looks like we're finally getting towards the gates of Newby Hall. Not too bad. It took about probably half an hour that I've just done the, in the queue. I guess we have to get used to this when we're coming to car shows. show this car today so uh, we can go straight on for exhibitors got some problems parking people because it's a bit wet the sheep are getting a good view of the, uh, the cars coming in Well, we finally got in and set up. Got the Union Jack out. Looking good. Found some uh, Jag company now. Aston Martins. That's really nice. Lovely black Aston Martin. Paid a lot as a lease. I'm sure you know what this is. DeLorean.
20 to 11 now and this car's still coming in. It's unbelievably busy. I've never seen it like this before. I've been about three times to this show and it's absolutely rammed but the, the sun's come out I guess which is why everyone's uh, enjoying it. Take a look at it. It's absolutely, there's cars everywhere. Just going to do a bit more mooching. Nice little Mark 1 Escort. Done up like a rally car. And the Mark 2 Escort. Some nice old Jags here. He's a lovely XGS. Looks like an XJC actually, it's got the convertible. Yeah, XJSC. It's cooler on that Aston. It's an early XK. Oh. That's nice, lovely old Thunderbird. I do like a modern Mustang as well. There's quite a few of them here today. See the red one there. It's the DB9. It pretty much looks almost identical to my Jag. Modern Ferrari. I used to work on Toyotas many, many years ago as a mechanic when these were brand new. This is an MR2 Mark 1 AW11 model. T bar. Screaming 1980s. This looks a really tidy T bar. <clears throat> Immaculate. Lovely little mini. Two, I think. Land Rover. See what I bought mine. You see the doors on it. You see the doors and the like split doors. So like the uh, captain goes well. Such an unusual design, the uh, Morgan. Almost looks like it's melted. I don't think this one needs any introduction.
do like a TPR Griffith. It's a Chimera Paul. <laughs> Here's a Griffith, 500. This is the best colour though for a Griffith. British Racing Green. What will you find if you go wandering through the jungle and the woods? Big cats. <sighs> Certainly in some good company today with some lovely Astons. It's a nice vantage here. <laughs> well I did really enjoy that, it was um, busy, so that was sports cars in the park at Newby and um, I've been a couple of years ago but by god it was, it was really really busy. Probably here, the, um, the sat navs working there, but this morning again, um, it was as if there was, it didn't know where I was, as if the GPS uh, signal has gone. So I'm gonna have to tackle that, um, that GPS fault, and I'll do that for a future video. Because it is starting to annoy me now. It's almost like when the car's being out, a bit of air's been getting to the sensor or whatever, it starts working. But when you set off, or when the car's being stood for a while, there's there's no signal and it doesn't know where the car is, so I'm definitely gonna have to tackle that in a future video. The car's driven really well today, and uh, I've definitely cured that rattle that I had in that I was mentioning in a previous video because it's absolutely silent now at motorway speed, so it must have been that heat shield that was causing the problem. So, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, ride out today to Newby. Newby Hall to the sports cars in the in the park show. The weather was horrible this morning but it's improved, the sun's come out, it's lovely, it's like a summer's day now. So um, I still have to clean the car though when I get back. But for a different reason, it's covered in flies now. And obviously the flies are starting to uh, to appear in the UK. They're all splattering on the windscreen, so that they'll be to clean off. 
Other than that, uh, if you like this video, like and subscribe. Four hundred yards, enter the roundabout and take the first exit. Like and subscribe to uh, Life on Cars, and we'll hope to see you again very soon. Two hundred yards, enter the roundabout and take the first exit, and then take the second exit on the next roundabout. You know, it's not a bad sat nav when it works. It's actually quite clear on the screen. Take the first exit.